Okay. Uh, we are going to be doing some serious atmospherics passenger missions uh, using voice attack. I'm going to kind of show my implementation of how I've done their little voice control software stuff um, and how I'm using it in these missions. Um, this is all pretty simple. Um, I spent like a couple hours earlier today uh, teaching myself how to use it. Um, mapped the commands I wanted uh, to basic keystrokes. Um, build the program to do the default press and release for 0.1 seconds. Um, and it was pretty much plug and play. But yeah. Um, let me just get all my passengers on here and we'll show you how this works. I already tried this once, but the uh, levels on my microphone were a little too low, so hopefully this one sounds better. It'll probably just be all one take. I probably won't edit this very much. Yeah, and just kind of a demonstration showing how I'm using it and that it's relatively easy to do. Okay. Um, and I do have it set to ignore me unless I address it. Uh, for example, computer, galaxy. It won't listen to me unless I say a key phrase first. I'm not going to say that it'll be listening to me. Computer, close. Computer jump. Frame shift drive charging. I have been playing this game for quite some time. Computer jump. And, um, so I had a very good idea for quite some time uh, what kind of voice commands I would want uh, if I ever decided to do this. Um, so in a sense, this, this is all in terms of teaching myself how to do the actual commands. It was all pretty simple. Because again, I had a pretty good idea what I wanted to do. And I knew I wanted to you know, have it ignore me most of the time unless I addressed it, which again, voice attack has a really nice implementation. It's very easy, very simple to set up. These are of course first impressions. Again, this is literally my first day ever using the software, so there could be some deep fundamental flaws that I'm just not, I just haven't come across yet. But again, first impressions, I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my little nerd dreams are coming true right now. It's pretty great. Computer jump. See, drive charging. Even when I mush mouth it, it recognizes. It recognizes. Honestly, probably the fiddliest part is navigating 
Elite's controls menu. Incoming mission critical message. Coming up on our destination. Computer external. Computer close. Yeah, as I was kind of saying earlier, um, I've been playing this game for a while, and one of the things I like to do a lot is exploration. Um, and a lot of that is just, you know, as many of you, if you play this game, you know, if you like to explore, a lot of your time is going to be spending jumping from star to star. Um, which can be pretty low involvement. A lot of us like to dual screen it. Um, and, you know, that can be one way. Um, this is just another way of kind of further automating that process making it a little bit easier to do so I can kind of space out and just jump from star to star and cover distances and maybe kind of half do other things on the side while I'm doing that. Um, I am doing this through my practically ancient uh, Astro A40s um, with the mic that came with those as well. Um, in case you can't tell from the overall audio quality. But um, again, works pretty well with those. Um, and of course that does kind of prevent me from doing the aforementioned dual screening. Um, unless I plug something external into my the little preamp that came with it. Which I could do, but that's, you know, I have a ton of wires already and I that's a lot of stuff to set up as well. So, we'll see. On longer trips, I probably will end up doing it. Sorry if I yelled, it sounded like I peaked for a second there. Also, yeah, sorry if I mumble and the mic doesn't pick it up. It's a bad habit. I need to get better at speaking clearly into the mic while I'm doing this. get a nice quick turnaround with the voice commands here. We've got some wanted passengers on here. Computer cruise. Computer galaxy. Computer close. Mission objective complete. Computer jump. Frameshift drive charging. I could have gone even faster. I, you know, I had some time in there where I could have been charging up my FSD. Um, but even still. It's a nice and easy to get a good quick turnaround. Just point my ship at the rope real quick. I can jump into my menus and chart my course out. Quick and easy, in case anyone's on my trail on my tail trying to shoot me down. Computer jump. Frame shift drive charging. Uh, a couple of the functions I have mapped that I'm not really showing in this video. Um, maybe I did show uh, the sensor zoom in and out. Um, I also mapped um, 
all of the panels you saw you've seen you're going to see the external one again and you saw it already once uh, all of the panels are mapped um, cargo scoop is mapped uh, landing gear is mapped um, um, as you probably saw and you'll again see once more um, is I have a docking computer on this one just because I'm mostly using it for passenger missions right now and I don't feel like dealing with docking uh, every time um, but with most of my ships I don't uh, so it is useful um, to have uh, the landing gear mapped to a voice command and again the cargo scoop as well um, I also have it mapped to switch fire groups um, but again this thing's outfitted for just passenger missions. Oh, uh, computer jump. Computer jump. Shift drive charging. It's not perfect. It does miss me every once in a while. For the most part, it works really well. Um, and yeah, that's all I currently have mapped. Um, I, 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 again, I, I immediately turned around and spent the $10 it takes to uh, purchase the full version of the software um, after, again, it just, it just pretty much worked for me almost immediately out of the box. Um, and $10 is enough. And I can use it for a ton of games. Um, I play a fair amount of MechWarrior 3, and that's another one that I would love to be able to issue voice commands to my mech uh, as I'm stomping around blowing stuff up. Um, again, just just making my little nerd dreams come true. Um, it's a whole lot of fun, and well worth the $10. Uh, again, in my opinion, first impressions and all that. Probably gonna do the loop of shame. Probably gonna do the loop of shame. I did this earlier too. I said I was gonna leave it in then, and I'm gonna leave it in now. I erased that one because my mic levels were, ter were terrible, but oh, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't have to do it. Maybe I caught it in time. I don't know, I'm not completely useless as a computer. question is, is that on this side of the rings or the other? I bet it's on the other. Yeah, yeah, it would appear to be on the other. Yeah, I should know that. Just outside. I should know that. I've done this before. Maybe I'll do that loop of shame after all. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Could have done a voice command there, but. I still have it mapped to the uh, buttons, and that's that's another thing to note is just in case like the software just suddenly stops working on me in the middle of it, um, I do have all of the old buttons on my uh, my joystick still mapped. So emergencies, I can do that. Uh, computer external. Computer external. See, sometimes I get a little talking a little too fast, and it doesn't catch. Me. Request granted. Computer close. And there we have it. Running uh, Sirius Atmospherics missions, using some voice commands through uh, the voice attack software. Again, my first impressions are, are, I'm super impressed, super impressed. It's very, very easy to use. I programmed it with very little difficulty. Well, programmed, that's overstating it a bit. 
Um, I was able to put in the commands I wanted with very little difficulty. Um, and I think, obviously, I think most of the credit goes to the whole uh, speech recognition, which I think is built into Windows at this point. Um, yeah, I had me run a little engine just to recognize what I'm saying. And really only had to run the diagnostic tool, I think, twice. And it works amazingly well. A couple exceptions here or there. Again, mostly my fault from what I can tell. Just talking a little too fast. Or what have you. Or too loud, mostly, in my instance. Alright. Get that money. That was a demonstration. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you found it informative or interesting. If you're interested in voice attack, again, I'm just very early user, just plugged it in today, trying it out, and I'm very impressed so far. All right, have a good one.